You know, mate, I was working with this guy. <clears throat> Did uh, always uh, a bit of a bit of a tall guy. Uh, Lead singer from Thirty Odd Foot of Grunt. Mm, close, close. Uh, he's a bit of a surfer. Oh, also, oh, uh, Heath Ledger. No, no, uh, no, no. Close, close. Oh, oh, the, the, the other side of the country, Thor. mate. Thor. Yeah, Thor. Thor. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't say my name. Gamora. <laughs> Uh, 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 what's his face? Chris Pratt? Yeah. Who's the worst Chris Pratt? In I know. Could, Did you I just see the character name? Oh, hey guys, Chris Pratt here. Uh, <laughs> if I could have said that, then you'd know. You came on the set and you're like this dynamo. Hey, my butt! Darian! Why aren't you smiling? Darian! Where's my puppy? <laughs> I have to go outside for a little medication. <laughs> When I won my Academy Award, he was there. He won, this was his third Academy Award. We're standing backstage because they're just about to take you to the press conference. And he goes, you know, Robbo, now I have one for every decade. It's an unusual choice of occupation for a sort of centrally placed. So that is, can you do maybe Kristen Stewart, like, explaining what Pitch Perfect 3 is about? <laughs> um, um, you know, there's like, the Bellas are out of college and, um, you know, uh, they go on a USO tour and there's like, you know, hilarity ensues, so. <laughs> oh my God. <gosh>, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, we were on a platform and we were also like on a cliff. Uh, I, I did, um, I'm not sure if it's in the, I it said something in a magazine where I was like, I smile, I swear, I, like, I actually smile a lot. It's weird that that, like, uh, notion is so perpetuated. So, I can I have the cards? I need the cards. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can have an well, old no, card. No, don't worry. You can have an old card. There's I need old... a card. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so you, <laughs> so you, you've never been on the show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I'm told, I didn't know this was the case, because you don't, you didn't get to use this skill uh, in, in uh, the actual uh, Star Wars trilogy, but I understand that uh, you're quite an impressionist. Is that the case? Well, it's not so much that I'm an impressionist, but when you tell stories, you sort of affect whatever person that you're doing to try and give the flavor for, mm -hmm. for what you're talking about. I remember I was complaining to Harrison that my hair didn't match from the last scene, and it was bad for continuity, and Harrison's comment was, Hey, kid. If the audience is looking at your hair, we're all in big trouble. Well, it's a fantasy. It's not science fiction so much as it is space fantasy. And it's about people. It's about, fin it's finally about people and not finally about science. Mallory? Yeah, that's right. Doc, my mom has got the hots for me. Hey, that's Doc, good. Are you telling me? You wow. Time machine. Wow. Yeah. Good. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it. You can't just do the all right, all right thing anymore because it's like everyone can do it. That's right. But what you got to do is throw in a little Texas whistle in there with those asses. <laughs> so, so it's like when you start to hear those asses start to creep on in. <laughs> and like, I, I'll make it. I'm, won't you step outside to my AIR stream? I'll make you a margarita blow your horns off. <laughs> Put it in the glove box, we drive. He doesn't say a word for about five minutes. And I'm sitting there, what the hell's in the glove box? And he goes, open up the glove box, buddy, make sure it's still there. Yeah, it was a tribute. tribute. Yeah, right. So I, I ran backstage to go see Don before he was coming out. I run back real quick and uh, he's sitting in a chair and I said, I said, hey, Don, I just wanna let you know, you know, I'm here and wish you luck and everything. He goes, he goes, John, you're here. And you're not late. The truth of it is, there was such, and, and, and folks, see, every time, I, every time I'm here, I look out and I, I get to think, I'm going blind. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> you people on television don't know, it's, it's all black in there, either right. that or I got cataracts. Right. <laughs> Obviously, you love doing impressions, my favorite being Chris Evans, as you know. And, um... Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. Oh, okay. Wow, Zach, Nerd HQ, man. <laughs> it's pretty rocking. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> he wasn't wearing his costume like I was. And he was just like, dude. <laughs> really? 
I was watching it on TV, man. I mean, what? Oh my God. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe the hardest part about being the sexiest man of the year is then the next year not being the sexiest man of the year, so. And I called Robert, I said, listen, I, I need you to play a Mexican. He says, dude, uh, here's the deal, sure, fuck it. <laughs> sure, why not, fuck it, sure, of course. And by the way, there's a lot to be said for how these genre movies, and I was happy to be part of the problem if there is one. Give me your best Woody. Oh, jeez, you know, don't, don't put me on the spot like that, because, you know, it gives me, give me palpitation. You know, I'm, I'm trying to have a good time here. You're making me feel like, like, like Goebbels in Nuremberg. Because I've won a few Oscars over the years, and I thought they, you know, that they were calling to get them back, and I panicked, because the, the... After seeing you fight Evangelista, I probably should get in the ring with you because the legs looked a little bit rubbery, you know what I mean? What are you talking about, Tom Snyder? You know what I mean? Say I'm slowing down. Everybody say I'm slowing down. I'm still fast. I'm still so pretty. <laughs> and I'm pretty, Tom. I'm 35 years well, old and a mark yes, on my face. I yes, look sir. so good. You know, I'm fast. I can turn out the lights in my bedroom, be in the bed before the room gets dark. Okay. <laughs> say, come on down, Ali, out of the galley. I want you to come up here and here, have something to drink. What do you want? And giving me number one spot from the galley to the number one spot. I said, this ship must be sinking. Why is he, <laughs> Why is he so nice to me now? Here's, here's my impression of Ray Romano playing golf, but I need your help. Oh, sure. Can you do like the sound of a, of a golf, like a whoop, like a, you know, thing? Of course. Ready? Ready? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, be right. <laughs> First of all, it's flattery. Isn't that supposed to be the highest form of flattery? Yes, of course, an impression, yeah. But it's also, if you think about it, it's like a double insult. Because, well, he's making fun of my, my voice, and he's making fun of my golf game right now. <laughs> so I, I was going to go as John Wick. But I see now this is why I'm not because uh, for that, Keanu Reeves because for that response. Well, yeah, I thought it's not out yet, is it? Well, I don't know, but I I just thought it'd be funny if uh, instead of going to the door and, and saying trick or treat, I, I I brandished a gun and I said, uh, people keep saying I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Eddie Murphy, what do you think of the wing? Hey, or what man, do you think of the sauce? Amazing. Hey, man, this sauce is amazing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out why it ain't hotter than it is, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just it's normal to me. You know what I'm saying? I like spicy stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know spicy. I go to, I go to any clubs. So I know spiciness. Eddie, that's what some people say. You know, they're like, they expect our hot sauce to be like the hottest hot sauce, but we wanted a good tasting, smooth hot sauce, but I think that's a fair It's a criticism. very smooth, it's a very cool, smooth hot sauce. Now, if you ask Shannon Sharp the same question, he wouldn't yeah, have the same thing. Yeah, what would Shannon say? One of my first year at SNL, I would take the Long Island Railroad into the city, and when I came, and I would park in Freeport, right. and I had a car with nice hubcaps on. I came back one night, and my hubcaps were gone, you know, and I took somebody else's hubcaps. <laughs> yeah, it's as if he designed his own set. He designed his own lighting, and um, Apocalypse Now, and he just emerges from the light, yeah. and just that look. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, you can do that. Go ahead, you can do it. <laughs> Uh, just an errand boy sent by grocery clerks to pick up the bill. That I cannot do. I'm so, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm so honored to be in attendance today. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my, I'm talking about substitute teaching. I'm so, so grateful to be here. <laughs> who's the teacher? Who is Her the name is Abby, Abby Adamson. And oh my gosh, Abby, I love your name so much. It's like, <laughs> ah. I, I want to thank you, Michael, for taking a chance on me because I know I could be like Jeff Spicoli's girlfriend, but like with the lisp and the paralysis, I don't, I, there's no way you could have. Thank you for taking the chance on me. Um. I'm not going to do the push-ups like Christian used to do on set. I'm actually just going to do a much more uh, refined Batman, actually. I'm the hero that Gotham needs right now. Not the one that you deserve. But I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I will sing you, you princes of Gotham. 
you, you, you veritable uh, uh, princes of, of, of crime, jokers, uh, all of you. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to take you down to the, to the Arkham Asylum, and I'm going to lock you up. What do you think? That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who you are. 